dear students welcome to the 38th session of second ba optional english prescribed by the mangalore university this is sumana rajendra associate professor department of english purna prajna college udupi today i am going to deal with the topic themes in the novel the pickwick papers it's a continuation of session 37 first let us look at dickens and the theme of humor the novel the pickwick papers begins as a simple comedy dickens uses humorous techniques in the novel comedy for dickens was essentially an attitude towards the world it was for him viewing human behavior This novel though it appears as a comedy deal with deals with some serious issues through the plot let us look at the next theme used by dickens that is law and politics dickens identified society's problems revolving around law and politics Dickens was closely associated with law at an early age. He had worked in an office of legal matters as a young man. As a journalist, he had covered the parliament for a number of years. These two work experiences at an early age for Dickens resulted in the growing suspicion and contempt of lawyers and politicians and along with it he got a closer look at law and politics the two themes which he used in many a novel of his the next theme dickens offers in the novel is that of the suffering of the poor Dickens addresses this theme in almost every novel. Dickens was greatly affected by the imprisonment of his father. His father was imprisoned when Dickens was just 11 years old. Because of this his family had to face acute poverty so much so his mother moved into the prison with the rest of the children. and dickens had to start working at the age of 12 in all we can say that dickens grew up in penury the next theme discussed or portrayed in the novel is marriage and love dickens felt that marital problems occur because of some reasons in society according to dickens love and marriage don't go together somehow dickens's personal life made him feel this way dickens believed that the idea of love and the ability to love defines one's own being in the world dickens and alcoholism Dickens uses this another theme in the novel that of alcoholism Dickens was doubtlessly fond of alcohol though he preached moderation alcohol features regularly in Dickens's works Dickens felt that the beer and ale were the drinks of the lower classes while the upper classes opted for wines and sherries these habits of the two classes often found an expression in his novels dickens and romance dickens has portrayed some great romantic characters in most of the novels that he has written for dickens love is the most unselfish love 
Dickens's personal romantic life affected most of his novels. Dickens and children. Another recurrent theme in Dickens's novels is children. Dickens's novels are crowded with children. These children wander away from their old lives and need to be reserved from danger. His novels present a picture of disturbing childhood of a large number of Victorian orphans. Most of his novels revolve around the problem of child abuse. Another important theme that can be seen in Dickens's novels is the theme of money. Dickens was of the opinion that money can give man knowledge, education, and good manners. He felt that money is necessary for people to elevate themselves up the social ladder. He also believed that money serves as a cause for isolation. In fact, this seems to be paradoxical. Money is an important theme of Dickens's novels. Dickens felt that money causes corruption and a number of other evils. The next theme we are going to discuss is the theme of imprisonment. In fact, imprisonment and Dickens are closely associated. He saw through his own eyes what imprisonment meant because his father was imprisoned when Dickens was very young and his regular visits to the prison brought him close to the horrors of imprisonment. During the Victorian era, prisons were seen as a means to rectify offenders. In fact, on one hand, Prison life is presented as a horrifying experience and on the other, it is also seen as if it were a place for rehabilitation for prisoners. Dickens felt that the prisons of the time were largely unjust and could cause further harm to people. He was horrified when he saw the kind of inhuman conditions in which these inmates of the prisons lived. Especially, he was horrified by the conditions of solitary confinement. Now, let us discuss the, MC, the questions related to this session. First of all, Dickens covered one of the four as a journalist, whether it's parliament, prison cells, orphanages, or none of the above. The answer is parliament. He covered because he had started working as a journalist and he had got a chance to cover the matters relating to the parliament as a journalist. Dickens was doubtlessly fond of traveling, books, alcohol. Well, I can say that the answer here is alcohol. He was fond of alcohol. He has presented this theme numerous times in his novels and he had his own ideas about the preference of alcohol among the rich, the poor and also the middle class people. Dickens's particular period of his life affected his novels, whether it is childhood, 
adulthood, his romantic experiences, or his experience as a journalist? Well, here the answer is romantic experience. Many of his novels show how his own love stories affected him, and he has portrayed this in his novels. Dickens's novels are supposed to be crowded with a particular class of people. Let us see what are they, whether it is the working class, the upper class, children, or none of the above. Actually, it is the children. Many novels of Dickens revolve round stories right from childhood till reaching the adulthood. You see protagonists spending probably half of the novel is focused on their childhood. Let us see what does the last question has to offer us. Dickens believed that something served as a cause for isolation. What is that? Whether it is fame, power, money, or something else. It is money. He felt that on one hand, he, ha he was of the opinion that money is necessary. But on the other, he also felt that money is the root cause of all these problems and the crimes that occur in society. So the answer to this question is money. Thank you very much. I come to the end of session 38.